Hey everyone, this is Lucy and in this video I'll be walking you through three beginner-friendly AWS hands-on workshops. As we all know at this point, AWS certifications are a great starting point for learning cloud fundamentals. But if your goal is to land a job in the cloud industry, watching a 20-hour video course on Udemy and taking lots of notes is just not enough. The reason is because in an interview, you won't just be asked to memorize what an AWS service does. To really stand out, you'll need a more in-depth understanding of some real-life scenarios where AWS can be used to help companies with their business and technical goals. For example, an interviewer can ask you, what are some ways to secure a 3 tier web application that's hosted on the cloud? Or how can a company migrate their on-premises servers onto AWS? Maybe something even more specific, like what are subnets and why do we need them? You might get away with memorizing some of the answers to these questions, but if you've had actual hands-on experience performing some of these tasks and working with the core AWS services, you'll be able to answer the questions with a lot more confidence and in a lot more detail. And don't get me wrong, I definitely recommend AWS certification video courses if you're looking to get AWS certified and build your theoretical knowledge. But after getting one or two AWS certifications, make sure you follow that up with hands-on experience. Because if you have 10 certifications but don't know how to navigate the AWS console and actually build something, then it's going to be very hard to showcase your skills in a technical interview. So with all that being said, let's jump straight into resource number one. The first hands-on resource I'd recommend is the AWS General Immersion Day workshop. As a former AWS Solutions Architect, Immersion Days was something that my team and I ran with AWS customers. We used to bring together a group of AWS customers into a meeting room or video call and walk them through a set of presentations and hands-on labs. For the hands-on labs, customers will follow the same workshop you can see right here on the screen. These immersion days will usually go from, let's say, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And by the end of the session, customers will have a much better understanding of the core AWS cloud concepts, including compute, networking, security, monitoring, databases, and storage. For example, if we click on compute, the workshop guides you through how to launch a web server and connect to it. It also shows you how to set up auto-scaling groups and load balances. You can see here that there's also an advanced section for those who are looking for more of a challenge. I'll put the workshop link in the video description below if you want to give it a go yourself. It's a free workshop, but make sure you follow the instructions to clean up the AWS services after creating them to avoid unnecessary charges. The second hands-on resource is a workshop that teaches you how to perform an application migration with AWS. You'll start off with a traditional three-tier e-commerce application that's hosted on-premises, and by the end of the workshop, you would have migrated it all to AWS. What's pretty cool about this workshop is that it goes through many different ways you can migrate an application. For example, re-hosting using AWS Application Migration Service or performing a replatform using AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Application migrations are a common customer situation at AWS. So this workshop will help you understand a real life scenario of when AWS services can be used to help companies move to the cloud. The workshop is estimated to take around four to six hours to complete. And as long as you clean up the resources that are deployed, it should cost you less than $10 on your AWS account. If you're finding this video helpful, by the way, please remember to give it a like and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. Okay, so the first two resources I mentioned are available for free. And if you want to access more free hands-on workshops, I'd recommend browsing through workshops.aws. The next resource I'm about to mention is a bit of a bonus one. This is a set of hands-on video projects from an instructor that I personally trust and recommend. He has some amazing beginner-friendly projects, for example, this AWS WordPress one that I mentioned in a previous video. These project courses, even though they're paid resources, are great for people who want to follow hands-on video tutorials instead of just following written instructions and documentation. Unlike AWS certification courses, where only around 10% of it is hands-on labs, these project-based courses go through step-by-step -step how to build AWS projects. And once you complete them, you can showcase it onto your resume. I reached out to Aziz, the course creator, and we decided to partner up together to provide a discount for all the courses. So if you use the code TECHWITHLUCY when you check out, you'll receive 20% off. At this point, you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed and thinking, how am I meant to find the time to use all of these resources? Let me introduce you to an app called Rise, which is also today's video sponsor. So Rise is a desktop app that automatically tracks and categorizes the time you spend on certain websites and apps. What Rise does is once you install it, it sits in the background and tracks all the things you're doing on your computer. It then analyzes all of it and provides you with real-time insights to help you understand which websites and apps are distracting you. I spend so much of my time in front of my laptop these days. So by tracking my time, I've been able to build better work habits and try to avoid watching Netflix for five hours straight. 
So if you're interested in maximizing your productivity, you can check out Rise and the first 1,000 people to sign up with the link in the description below or by using the code TECHWITHLUCY will get 25% off their first three months with Rise. Alright, so this brings us to the end of this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.